we are just basically a little over a month away from Hogwarts Legacy coming out. And it is already, as I've already said in a video, one of the top rated video, like one of the biggest selling games. Again, a month before it came out, it's already breaking records. People are excited for this game, primarily because of all the pushback against it and all the disdain for it. Well, we got two things coming out now. One, Heartstopper star Sebastian Croft responds to backlash over involvement with Hogwarts Legacy. Yes, one of the voice actors for a playable character in Hogwarts Legacy has come out and announced that evil transphobe, that tiff, J.K. Rowling, and everything like that. Let's scroll down here to his uh, to his tweets. Sebastian Croft, I was cast in the, this project over three years ago, back when all Harry Potter was to me. Back when all Harry Potter was to me, was the magical world I grew up with. This was long before I was aware that J.K. Rowling's views. I believe wholeheartedly that trans women are women and trans men are men. I know far more than I did three years ago, and I hope to learn far more in the next three. I'm really sorry to anyone hurt by this announcement. There is no LGB without the T. Already coming out and denouncing J.K. Rowling for, for her innocuous comments, for comments I don't disagree with. I'm, I'm sorry, I just don't. But... Hey, you can't have these comments. You believe everything else we agree with. You have one thing out of line. You're an awful person. Well, because of that, we also had this announcement that, hey, Seven Pegs confirmed to be playing the new headmaster. Ancestors is serious black. You know, hey, hey, people are all happy. Nope, nope. Simon Pegg joins Hogwarts Legacy and flaming the internet. Hot Fuzz star... Trek actor Simon Pegg joins the controversial Hogwarts Legacy game. Hogwarts Legacy has been a, a hotbed of controversy since its reveal, and that continues with the reveal that Simon Pegg is joining the game's cast. The news has gotten a mixed reception from fans. Mixed reception from fans. Mixed reception from fans. No, no, what you're getting is crazy activists coming out saying don't buy this game if you do you're a transphobe you're you're they're getting people like I'll come back here Sebastian Croft here to come out and denounce JK Rowling for her comments no that fans are excited for this game fans are not fans are excited for this game so much so that again I'm willing to buy several different copies of this game and just hand it out on the street like it's going out of style like it's candy. Because I don't care what you think. I want this game to do better than all the other games in the past. I want this game to do better than Pokemon. Better than all sorts of other games. Insert game here. Definitely, It'll definitely do better than The Last of Us 2. <laughs> Anyways... Reception friends, as Peg has been open about his progressive beliefs, whereas J.K. Rowling continues her anti-trans stance. Huh, <sighs> you, you get this, and then you, you get some backlash, and I decided to open up these tweets, and we go here to Flora. Man, man, she, they... Trans flag, LGB flag, 21, BLM, hiya, you look fab, Jody Whittaker. Oh, man, man, you you look like I should trust everything you say. Supporting a transphobe's work that keeps her relevant in the media is bad. Actually, Simon, I hope you really, really ashamed of yourself and know trans people all over the world are deeply disgusted by your decision. For simply voicing a character. Voicing a character that, well, was very unpopular in the Sirius Black family. Let's be real here. In lore, he wasn't that popular. But, okay. So, so he should now feel bad for voicing a 
character. Okay, well, you also got this one. Simon Pegg sure did the whole performative song and dance about hating the Tories and then signed on to star in the game about how an how elf slavery is good and that also emboldens one of the richest turfs in the country, huh? Wow, wow, wow. Going all sorts of weird uh, weird ways. Man, that I I don't even know how to address that one. Well, let, let let's see this. Let, let let's see. Hero of socialist cruising. Hero of socialist cruising. Trev I don't even know what that is. Brainchild of what? Oh, she her. There we go. That's all you needed to know. They they're mad that Simon Pegg is simply voicing a character. So what? This game's still going to break records. You're not going to stop it. You, this little dude, this this little JK Rowling is evil tweet isn't going to change anything. It's still breaking records. So yeah, keep coming out. Keep coming out and attacking people for simply doing a job. Keep it up. Because we're going to be here to gather up that money to get all this dough. But hey, you know, keep freaking out, why don't you? Only time will tell if Simon Pegg releases a statement. Oh! Oh! You want him to denounce JK. You want him to come out and simply say, No, JK is a bad person. Come out and say it. Say it. People involved with Harry Potter have denounced Rowling's views before, including actor Daniel Radcliffe. Yeah, yeah, Daniel Radcliffe denounced her. And people came out and kind of smacked him around. He's a good actor, but he wouldn't be anything without her. Hopefully we get a similar statement from Peg. Well, from my understanding so far, Peg hasn't made out a statement. I, I haven't seen a statement from Peg denouncing J.K. Rowling. But it doesn't matter. J.K. Rowling's still going to make a mint off this. You have all sorts of chaos around this game. This game's done nothing. All it is is set in a world that they like. With somebody they used to love. But because she has one view they don't agree with. She has to be cancelled, destroyed, taken away, and basically gotten rid of. You don't agree with us 100%. You're an awful human being. Well, I don't care if I don't agree with J.K. Rowling. I agree with her on one thing. Okay. Everything else I don't agree with. I'm still going to buy this game. Looks kind of fun. Sounds kind of fun. I'll buy multiple copies. And again, I'll give it out on the street like it's candy. Because I don't care. This goes to a discussion we were having last night. Well, two nights ago for you. On Vets Talking. Where... This, the activist, you know, Flora here, the, whatever this thing is. But we can laugh at ourselves. We can disagree and still be friends. We don't have to be 100% in agreement with each other. Heck, I can disagree with somebody completely and still be their friend. These people can't. These people, the slight to them is like physical pain to them. To the point that you must be gotten rid of. You are awful evil. You are a villain if you do not agree with me 100%. This is why I do not acknowledge them as actually wanting diversity. They want a monoculture. They want you to be 100% in agreement. The moment you're out of that, you're as you, how they ca classify Candace Owens, for example. She's a black woman awful human being because she she's a black racist because she doesn't agree with us she she's awful look how they treat eric july he's awful because he doesn't agree with us look at the how they treat jk rowling again a woman that agrees with the 99 percent of the time you're awful because you don't agree with us and because of that people will come out and support their works all day long because they don't care what you have to say. They, they don't care if you want Simon Pegg to denounce her. Because if Simon Pegg denounces her, I'll make fun of Simon Pegg for denouncing her. The same way I'm making fun of this weirdo up here. God, get a better clothes. 
Don't wear eye makeup. Well, you just get a better outfit. Anyways, at the end of the day, the game's gonna do well. J.K. Rowling's gonna make a mint, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. With all that being said, guys, let me get your thoughts down in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share it out with your friends, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.